I want to jump forward to The Wire for a minute because looking at that show in retrospect, it was such a success and considered one of the greatest shows ever on television and people talk about it with reverence, but at the time, that was not the case and it, was it wasn't not. winning awards, it, wa it was barely coming back every season and there was this misconception, I think, that your career would blow up when you got The Wire and the opposite. I happened. had that misconception. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. But I guess I was curious about what the indifference to that show taught you about the business? Well, for me, that was the, I'd always known that there was racism in the business, but I always thought that the level of my work would rise above it. And that was the first time I saw how, insti how entrenched and how deep the racism was. Um, because it wasn't just me dealing with it, it was like, us dealing with it. Like, I mean, we were on at the, we were the lead into The Sopranos. We were on at the same time as The Sopranos and Six Feet Under and Entourage and Sex in the City. All those shows were getting award nominations up the ass and we were, it was like crickets. And you knew you were making something great, oh, we right? Knew, we knew how good we were. We knew how good we were. Yeah. And, and not only that, it's, here's something that's really interesting. It was really telling to me. I was, um, when I first, I first moved out here in 2005, so it was in between the third and fourth seasons of The Wire, we had an 11-month hiatus, and it took six months to, month to decide whether or not to pick us up. So we were all auditioning uh, for other pilots in second position. Really? And I, I uh, met this uh, a black manager, at, uh, I don't want to say who he is, but at a very prominent uh, management firm. Um, and he was, he was considering uh, working with me. And we were talking about The Wire, and he said, you know, I don't understand what it is. I cannot get my white colleagues to watch that show. And I was like, wow, that's wild. I think you said that the period after The Wire was one of the hardest periods to get work for you, right? Like It, it seemed nearly impossible for me to get seen for film. It was just like, where's the, f and it wasn't even like, I'm not getting offers, like, I'm not getting auditions. I'd like to get a handful of auditions Either it was, a, it was always a cattle call for a big movie, or it was an audition for a little role in a little movie, which is part of the reason why I moved out here in the middle of the, uh, of the run of The Wire, because I thought that would help. I wondered for you how often there were situations throughout your career where you identified racism, whether it was how a character was written or something that happened on set or, or an overall bias in a script that was sort of not even consciously picked up by the director. Well, for me, it was more the the, Lack of opportunity, you know, lack of opportunity, you know what I mean? It was, it was, um, I mean, even after, after Fringe, I remember there was, uh, Fringe ended in 2013, was the last season aired. Um, that pilot season, it was like, there was nothing for, there was literally nothing for me. There were two, it was two, like, token, what, one was, was, a, was a, actually a, a sitcom, but it was a, it was a cop, a commanding officer, I'm like, I don't want to do that. And the other was the token black lieutenant. And I was like, I don't want to do that. Well, that's the question is, if there was just sort of the ceiling of what kind of roles you were going to be able to see. You have to accept it because it's reality. But uh, I've never liked it and I've never accepted it like, it's, like, like I'm going to lie down for it. Let me give you an example. So I was shooting this TV show video game thing and it, two young white guys and they were complaining about how often they'd gotten this close to getting the lead in a TV share, series. And I'm like, how often you've gotten this close to getting the lead in a TV series? How often, like, I, I can count on one hand and I don't need all my fingers, how often I've gotten to audition for the lead in a TV series. Right. And I, I mean, I mean, uh, maybe this is in politic, but I, 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 I know how good I am, I always have. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>